know water supply like the back of your hand, but are you familiar with residential fire sprinkler systems and how they utilize water supply? This brief video was created by the nonprofit Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition. The purpose is to provide the facts and help you prepare for home fire sprinkler system installations in your area. In the next few minutes, you'll learn the basics of residential fire sprinkler systems, their water usage, and other important information. Water utilities are pretty familiar with the traditional commercial and industrial fire connections, which are always a separate and distinct pipe from the domestic water supply to a building. The NFPA 13D fire standard allows designers to utilize just a single line that supplies both fire and domestic flow. First, a quick recap of why fire sprinklers are so important. Residential fires in one and two family dwellings result in more than 2,500 deaths, approximately 14,000 injuries, and $7 billion of property damage in the U.S. every year. Residents in your community are most vulnerable from fire right in their own homes. The key thing that happens with a sprinkler system is it slows the fire down um, and uh, e either significantly delays or prevents what's called flashover. Flashover is when the entire room and its contents, including the gases in the room, suddenly burst into flames. And if, and if you're in there, that's not a good thing. By preventing flashover, sprinklers improve the chance for occupants to escape. Home fires also take a heavy toll in injuries and deaths to first responders. Today's new homes incorporate lightweight materials and open construction techniques that have substantially increased the dangers for firefighters because they fail sooner in a fire. What we learned from our experiments was that fires in modern homes with open floor plans can create more dangerous conditions faster than legacy homes. We examined engineered floor systems versus dimensional lumber floor systems in our furnace in our laboratory, as well as full-size homes built in the field. We found that engineered floor systems can collapse significantly faster than older dimensional lumber systems. One of the reasons the fire service is so passionate about residential sprinkler systems is not only does it protect the residents of the home, but it also protects the firefighters. An uncontrolled fire will quickly spread flames, heat, and smoke throughout a home. Flashover often occurs within four minutes after a fire starts. Tremendous damage occurs before the fire department arrives, which is typically nine to 12 minutes after the fire has started. The property loss in a home fire with a sprinkler system is typically only a fraction of the loss in an unsprinklered home. Fire sprinklers save water and reduce infrastructure costs. Fire sprinklers control fires using 90% less water than responding fire departments. The water will come on in the room where the fire is located, and instead of putting thousands of gallons on an entire structure, when maybe the fire is contained to one room, the sprinklers come on, obviously you're gonna use a lot less water. Sprinkler systems use, you know, on average, based upon National Fire Research Foundation studies, 10% of the water supply that's put onto a fire for an unsprinkled building. 